Hey guys, it's me again. Um, so I won't be seeing you tomorrow. I have uh, two more meetings today. I, um, sorry, tomorrow. I'm meeting with um, two other employers who are also looking for CNAs. So I'm just gonna see what they have to offer and get a tour of the facility. But I wanted to give you a couple of reminders, tips, and some things that I learned at uh, some meetings that I had earlier this week. So um, just some reminders. Um, I did send out um, an email of a handout that I needed you to read. And I also included the link of the uh, video that I did last week. If you haven't looked at that yet, you should have all looked at it by now. Um, I wanna find out by tomorrow who will be joining me uh, for the tour at Eastgate Nursing and Rehab, which is in East Providence. They are looking for CNAs. They have offered to provide a tour of the facility and it would be a good chance for you to kind of make a connection, one-on-one -on -one connection with the administrator, the HR person, and I believe the director of nursing. They're very interested. So even if one or two of you want to join me, that's great. Um, if I don't hear back from you, that's going to disappoint me because I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to advocate for you. So I need to know by tomorrow if you'll join me. And if you need a ride, I can arrange to pick you up. It's Monday at 10.30 a.m. We have to be at Eastgate at 10.30 a.m. So I can start picking people up by maybe 9 o'clock. So let me know by tomorrow, Friday. That's tomorrow, Friday. And um, I'll make that happen. Um, I also wrote down or typed up in that handout that I emailed to you. If you wanted to set up tours for other facilities, I'm going to let you, I'm going to hand that off to you guys. Um, that will... Um, help you to kind of get out of your comfort zone a little bit and set up time to have an informational interview a one-on-one -on -one. because we are in Rhode Island guys it's not about texting or emailing your resumes you're making a connection with somebody who would have other otherwise asked you to fill out an application and then send it and wait for you to get a call so I'm making the connection for you and what you're doing is you're saying I'm from stepping up you're representing stepping up stepping up right now and they're they're waiting to get a call to see if you wanted to look at the facility you're not making any commitments you're not saying you're gonna take the job they're not offering you anything you know, it's really just information and take a look at the facility and as a reminder it'll also help you figure out distance where you're driving where you're taking the bus to the location if it's ideal for you okay um, internships at the beginning of the orientation when I was recruiting everyone I did mention that there will be a, an opportunity for you to do a paid internship now here are some options that we have because I doubt that you will all have any issues to be hired to be a CNA once you get your licenses but in the case that you may have some challenges or you want to hold off and see what's ideal for you there will be a chance for you to do a one-week internship and I have spoken to a couple of facilities that said that they would be willing to take an intern for a week and that will be give you a chance to figure out if it's a, a good fit for you or if they would like to offer you a position if they have one available so take advantage of that and um, the class that started in April you're sh you're gonna be finished soon so I'm thinking we can set something up for you at the beginning of July uh, or maybe even the second week of July so during the time that you'll be waiting to get your license your temp license then I'll start helping to set you up with an internship um, and then those who started the May class you're gonna be connected with a possible internship probably the first or second week of August so we'll, we can work on that with you so the uh, April class has already you already I think you're gonna be done today with your clinicals. Um, curious to find out how that's going. Write back to me, let me know. Um, I, had heard, I have heard from a couple of you. Westview, as you know, is hiring, so they are aware that you are stepping up participants, and they may wanna offer you something. So here's my advice to you. Don't take a job if it's offered to you don't don't take it right away don't accept it because what you want to do is evaluate 
like I said, distance, time, shifts, wage. Um, so why don't you, you know, if you don't have this ready or if you're not somebody that's very organized, I would start a log of all of the jobs that you want to apply for and all the jobs that were offered to you. And if you know what the wage is, um, like I said, it's an, you know, most of the facilities that I visited have an average wage of $11 an hour. So let's assume that that's what you'll be getting paid. But there is a differential if you want to take a second shift position, a weekend position, or anything like that. Um, another thing is um, I wanted to let you know that you will be evaluated um, on your uh, performance in the essential skills class, which is the Friday class. However, you will also evaluate the class, the instructing, um, and the training overall. And that's something I will be providing for you on the last day of the essential skills training, which is June 24th. That goes for the April class and the May class. Uh, for the May class, the way that I'll be following up with you and keeping in touch is we, you and I are going to agree on a one-on-one -on -one meeting that you, we're going to schedule once a week. Um, so that I can uh, stay in touch with you and we can do it either way, FaceTime, email, or phone calls. Oh, I would prefer one-on-one, -on -one, but you know we can try to make it work. And I can go to you if you want. We can meet at the Dunkin' Donuts, whatever that may, whatever's easier for you. Um, and also the instructor will be evaluating you, um, and that evaluation form can be used as a reference. So if you're looking for a job and you want to provide references or any evaluations that would help you be more employable then that is uh, a form that you can use uh, to your advantage. Um, one of the things I wanted to talk a little bit more about is um, lateness and absences. So in regards to what I've been hearing from employers is the main concern that they're having with retaining CNAs, they're hiring them, but the new ones don't stay for long. And the top two reasons that they're not staying is that they are often late and they call out a lot. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my concern about that. And one of the reasons for that is because it's happening in the class now. And I know everyone has a reason. I know that life happens and things come up, but it's it's not looking in your favor if it you know if you are late and absent more times than usual and it often creates a pattern and it may be perceived differently from your leadership than your classmate or even yourself so even though there might be things happening in your life that you can't control and you have to call out and be absent just know that it's that much harder for you to find an ideal job and to promote yourself as somebody who's responsible. So this is the, the whole point about doing this type of training is so that I can tell you this before you're hired so that you can prepare yourself and say, okay, well, if I'm absent too much, then I need to work on something that will avoid me from being absent so much. So work on that. Um, I'd like to address that with you when we meet one-on-one -on -one because I can do individual counseling um, and set up action plans. So that's another thing on my um, agenda that I'd like to provide for you. But just in general, as a whole group, being late and absent, it, doesn't, it just doesn't look good at all. And um, it's leaving a bad taste in people's mouths. So I just wanted to remind you that it's just as important to be on time and not absent if it's not necessary because it will help you uh, find an ideal job um, and make you look more responsible. So if you have questions, if you want to give me feedback, you know that I'm open. Again, I'm not going to see you tomorrow, Friday, um, but eventually I will connect with you and you can set up times to meet with me. Um, outside of here so again I need to know how many of you are going to join me at the Eastgate uh, nursing and rehab on Monday at 10 30 um, so that I can arrange to either meet you there by that time or pick you up and then uh, go straight over there
Okay, thank you. Have a good one.